Holly. <laughs> oh, this whole thing has gotten Hollywood really scraping at the barrel for what they can put in theaters. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. We're gonna have good movies again soon. You're gonna be in theaters again soon. We'll have real movies that are meant for theaters in theaters again. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, just a little longer. It's what I have to keep telling myself. <sighs> Gotta cling on to that hope. And you will beat that stupid monkey. Guys, gals, and everything in between, I'm here today to review for you Cosmic Sin. So Cosmic Sin is the latest film by Saban Films, and uh, it stars Frank Grillo, Bruce Willis, somehow. It's a, it's a basically straight-to-Walmart bargain bin style film. Sorry about the glasses, people. Uh, I... I fell asleep at an awkward angle and it bent my glasses and I haven't been able to go get them re-straightened out yet, so it's just been driving me nuts. Anyways, bear with me. Uh, but it's a sci-fi film. We make first contact with aliens and uh, we have to fight the aliens and uh, it's basically the most generic science fiction film possibly ever made. I love Frank Grillo, but why is he in this movie? Why? I... I I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Bruce Willis, I get that he's given up a long time ago and is just kind of taking paychecks at this point to play the distant badass, but Jesus Christ, Frank Grillo, dude, you can do way better than this. You were in the gray. But anyways, this film started out on a weird note um, where, okay, they, they give you the history of what is going on? So they're like, oh, in 2032, we invent interstellar, or we, we start colonizing planets, we colonize all these different planets by 2042, and they do that, right? And then they go, the current year is 2504, I think it was. Okay, just a, just a bit of advice. Um, if you're going to do a movie and give the history, why is it that distant out? That would be like, a, a pr like let's say 2020 as a year was just weird. So what if we had like, the year is 1776, America is founded. George Washington is like, eat a dick, King George. And we had a revolutionary war. And then all of a sudden it's like, the year is 2020 and then 2020 plays out, it's that distant, so it makes it feel pointless. And I'm like, so why? Why? So right away, that started out to be weird. And again, like, while this movie is just utter, utter garbage, I can't really fault it too much because this film felt like one of those movies that was never meant to see theaters. It was meant to basically go probably like straight to Walmart or straight to Voodoo uh, slash Walmart or, you know, one of those movies or like that one that Netflix inevitably buys up to so it can break even and just dump it on there. It, it feels a lot like that, but, but Hollywood is, you know, reopening theaters and all of this and they were like, we need a movie and this is one of the ones that was shot. So they probably said, okay, you can have it. It is really not good. It is, it is just really not good. Um, the story is just kind of generic. You can tell, like, literally, it is the most generic. They, they have to go to a planet, they have an ultimate destroyer device that they have to use, but they may not be able to use it, and they may have to make a great sacrifice. And you could tell the movie was really low budget, and they spent the majority of the budget on actors because uh, the aliens, if you bother to watch this movie... Wow. The aliens, you're, you're gonna laugh. You're really gonna laugh. And then Bruce Willis and Frank Grillo just in the middle of the movie just vanish for a while. There's like five or six characters that just kind of vanish for stretches of like 20 minutes and you're like, so did you run out of money and you just kind of wrote them out? And then you follow these generic like made for TV actors and with really low production value. 
The movie is not good. I cannot emphasize that enough. Uh, but I saw that a new movie was coming out, so I was like, you know what? I'm staying on top of this, people. I am reviewing it for you. It. They couldn't even get designs that were original. I mean, the outfits are clearly XCOM or Halo Space Marines. The aliens, I don't want to spoil what they look like, but it's really dumb. Um, and it's just like, oh, and then this ma this planet they're on, it, it basically is just, you know, the California Redwood Forest, more or less, but yet it's an alien world! Y you've seen this movie before by now, in just as generic fashion. You know that low-budget movie that tries for more than it probably should? Yeah, you've seen this movie before, people. I'm sorry. But Cosmic Sin, I would not recommend it. It is just not good. It is a uh, unsatisfactory film. Bruce Willis, he's just cashing a paycheck. Frank Grillo, to his credit, actually tries with what he has. Um, and the movie just kind of ends. And the ending makes no sense. And it set up a romance that was never in the movie and was never alluded to at all. And... It, it made me feel bad for kind of slightly crapping on the forgettability of that random movie a couple years ago called Captive State. Do you remember that movie? Because nobody else but me seems to. But, but it, it reminded me of just how forgettable. Like, this movie, I had to look up the title while I was shooting this review because I forgot the name of the movie as I was looking up. This is, this is that kind of movie. Um... If you want my rating, it's garbage. It's just a garbage film. There is nothing to it. But I'm not angry at it. Like Tom and Jerry, I was I was on a roll. This one I'm not I'm not mad about it. Like it's very clear this was never meant to go to theaters. It it is very clear this was just kind of a generic throwaway film, probably a rights retention film or contract obligation of some kind. It's just you can tell it was a generic low budget sci-fi channel original movie essentially. There's just I, I, and I know it because you can see it in the production value and quality and you're like, yeah, there was literally no reason for this to hit theaters other than there's not many things to hit theaters. So I'm not even mad about it. It's just garbage. Just don't even bother. Just don't even bother and the world will forget about it like they did Captive State. All right, guys, gals, and everything in between. Were you one of the three people who watched this movie? I know I was the only one in the theater when I saw it. Oh, at one point some elderly woman walked in, but I'm like 80% sure she was not in the right movie, and then she left like 10 minutes later, so I think she just wandered into the wrong theater. But if you're one of the like eight people who've seen this movie, um, comment below. Did you like it more than I did? I looked at the Rotten Tomatoes score after I saw the movie and it had like a 90 something percent on the audience score. Not many ratings. I'm just saying like that's clearly like Saban and his peeps being like, yeah, we love our movie. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. It's what the hip kids are doing. Love you guys.